Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Main Assembly, and today we're gonna be experimenting and building really weird things. My plan is to just start off with a semi-normal looking car or vehicle, and then just do what Main Assembly does best, and just start changing the shapes of things to be really awkward and weird, and just see how it looks and affects our vehicle. We're basically just gonna be making some really strange vehicles in this. We might be pulling off some Dr. Seuss things in this episode. So we're gonna start off with a new bot here and I'm actually gonna delete the seat because I don't know where I want the seat yet. I don't even know what's gonna happen with this. This almost feels like a roof to me. So I'm just gonna build down as if this is the roof and I'm gonna make myself somewhat of like a, a, a sporty buggy type thing, I guess. I'm probably not gonna spend too much time on the base design, but let's get to it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here is our starting little car here, and uh, this is my first time actually driving it. I don't really know what I was going for. I was kind of just going for a buggy looking thing, and oh. It's perfect. I think it's absolutely perfect. There's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. So this is the first time in a while that I just built something with no reference pictures whatsoever, so I was just kind of making stuff. Oh, it seems to very, very suddenly, very suddenly like to just tip over so before we start with so before we start with any experiments that are too crazy let's actually experiment with materials here i want to make the whole bottom of this out of steel and see if that helps us when it comes to flipping if the bottom of it is a lot heavier it should lower our center of mass theoretically making us less prone to tipping but i don't know how much of an impact that's gonna have so let's give it a try all right so now we should be a lot more bottom heavy and Actually, I don't know if you guys can see, or I don't know if you guys can tell, but that did make a difference. Before we just flat out tipped over, we actually, we kind of drifted a little bit first. So this is actually making a difference. Yeah, see, look at that. We drift before we tip over. However, that could just be the wheel type that we have. So let's do an experiment here and we're gonna select these wheels and then we're just gonna replace them with the racing wheels. And let's see how this does now. This could be completely, oh, okay, this is actually worse. It, it's better with the tipping, I think, but it is a lot worse with the drifting. So you know what I'm gonna do? Um, I wanna put a spoiler on the back. Let's just put a massive spoiler on the back. We're gonna make it out of aeroplastic and we're gonna see if that makes a difference for us. All right, here we go. The spoiler is now made out of aeroplastic. Oh, it looks a little bit weird. Hold on, I think if we put this down a little bit, give it a slight curve get a little bit more angle of attack on the wind resistance there all right let's see if this helps we now have a spoiler 
And so far, I think like slightly, it's not like a huge difference, but it's something. I can't, look at this, I actually can take the corners a lot easier without spinning out. So at least when I'm going faster. Oh, look at these. These weights are different. They used to be just like one weird looking weight and now, oh, what is it, a stretcher? Why, why do we have a, why is there a stretcher? Why can we put a stretcher on the vehicle? What? It's just, it's an actual stretcher. Why is there a stretcher in the game? I understand forklifts. I understand bumpers. I understand plows. Oh, we should put a plow on the front of this thing. Friction pads make sense. Weights make sense. But a stretcher. Okay, that is the most random thing I expected to see. Okay, so now obviously the big thing that this is missing right now is the boost. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a set of uh, three boosters, I guess. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna put a set of three boosters in here. All right, now we're starting to get somewhere. Yeah, now we are starting to get somewhere with this thing. All right, so we got a set of boosters. So now I think it's time to start really making things weird. I'm gonna start stretching and warping this vehicle and we're just gonna see where it goes and how it affects the function of it. Okay, for the first modification, I just wanna take this and drag it. Oh boy, oh, oh, that actually, that almost doesn't look bad but it, it still kind of does. And then what if I kind of do, oh, this just doesn't make any sense anymore. Oh, if I put it up like this, oh, oh, this is really interesting actually. This is starting to get like concept car style. And then I can just like, what if I, <laughs> that makes no sense at all. All right, there we go. All right, let's see what this thing does. It technically shouldn't really make much of a difference to be honest, because the wheelbase is the same. Everything else is pretty much the same. It's just the front looks weird. So you know what? Let's actually continue with the modifications. I want to make, I meant to make the whole vehicle longer. So let's go with the wheelbase as well. We're going to move all of the wheels forward, but now we got these like collisions happening because I got to move this forward with it. Okay, that, that pretty much fixes it. Got to move this up. There we go. Ooh, look at this. Oh, this is looking super interesting now. Oh, I got to get this out of the way. We could just use a curve right there. Ooh, I like this. And then we can just do that. And I'll even move these in a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks cool. All right, now this is starting to get futuristic. All right, let's see how this handles. Does it spin out as much with the longer dimensions? All right, here we go. Sharp turn. Oh, yeah, it still does spin out a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean completely. I might even argue it's a little bit worse now. Okay, well, this car definitely looks cool. It definitely isn't functioning that much differently. So let's see if we can get some different function here by making it even longer. We're gonna basically making be making a concept limo, I guess you could call it. And I'm gonna go ahead and just multi-select most of the panels back here and these frames. And uh, don't forget these ones as well. And then we're just gonna drag all of this back. Oh, I forgot some for, oh, you know what? I might keep it like that. That's interesting. <laughs> That's spoiler though, huh? You know, let's do it. That's the whole purpose of this video is to just make really weird things. Okay, if this spins out, Oh, 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 actually, it's doing much better. It, ignore the fact that I'm going off-road here. Oh, there. <laughs> of course, we spun out. You know what? What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make this thing mostly front-wheel drive by lowering the power of the rear engines down to 25%. All right, because if most of my power is coming from the front wheels, then the back wheels shouldn't want to spin out as much. But maybe that's not even what the cause is. So let's find out. Oh, look at that. That made all the difference. I can turn as sharp as I want to, it seems like, but I am just much slower with just the, uh, oh, there we go. And now we spun out. I think it's time that we just start making things ridiculous and nonsensical. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. I don't know what that is. And, uh, oh boy. Oh, things are, things do not make sense right now. I'm gonna take this. I don't know what's going on anymore. I really don't. Oh, what did I do? This is the roof. Oh, this is the roof. Oh, 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 okay. Well, the roof is going to come down. <laughs> this makes no sense anymore. And of course, we just, we ha you have to add curves into it. Like, you can't not have, we have the ability to do curves. So we can't not have curves. Look at this. It's beautiful. And we'll just do a little bit of this, a little bit of this. And let's see what happens now. 
Oh man, this is so <laughs> look at my character. <laughs> She's sticking out of the windshield. I don't know what this is anymore. I le I legitimately do not even know what to what to think of this. All right. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Oh, okay. It looks like some type of insect to be honest. How does it crash? Oh, it's durable. Oh boy. Oh, but you know what? I think I'm going to give this thing some off-road wheels. Oh, yeah, we're going to... Oh, hey! It's an anti-flipping device. I didn't even intend for that to happen, but it happened. All right, so let's definitely switch these wheels up really simply. Just click on that, and now we got some off-road wheels. Which, I don't know if this is going to make us any more well-suited for what we're... Oh, we lost our front wheels. Clearly, we need some modifications. I think we need to be a little bit wider. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these and move them out like that. I'm gonna take these and move them out like that. Now, I don't even know if these are aligned. And then we can go ahead and just start curving these pieces. All right, this curve doesn't make any sense, but we're sticking with that. And then, is this is this the curve? Yep, that's the curve right there. You know what, let's curve it forward. There, that makes sense, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. We're building impossible cars. All right, this spoiler, this spoiler needs some adjustment now too. And we'll bring that in. This is gonna kind of get like a Batman feel right there. Oh, and then if we do this one too, there we go. Bat spoiler, that actually looks awesome. Okay, we're getting a little bit heavy now. I think what I'm gonna do is turn the power back up on these because we're gonna need as much power as we can get. All right, and we got our boost as well. Our boost is so separated now. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is such a ridiculous car. I think I might need some more ground clearance, which is going to be easy to do. All right, we got some weird hangers and stuff. I remember- Oh! Our spoiler! What is our spoiler doing? It looks like a bat, too. It, like, it flies like one. It's really erratic and everything. Okay. I just love how our guy's sticking out of the windshield. Like, he's just ready to go head-on into anything that we go into. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, you know what? We need to... These, these boosters are not cutting it. We we don't want boosters anymore. We want flat-up jet engines. All right, so now they're a lot louder, but they're also a lot more powerful. And we can keep them going the whole time, so we can definitely get some speed going. Oh, and look, it still spins out. <laughs> I'm just looking at the glass panels in there. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, no. Oh. I'm just going to keep it going. Oh, okay. Oh, there it goes. Now we're falling apart. I wish I could scale the wheels up because now that I'm building this vehicle bigger, I want my wheels to be bigger to match it. You know what? Let's double up some wheels. We need some more power anyway. So I'm just going to expand this. We're going to move this forward. And then I think I can middle mouse click. Oh yeah, there we go. And we duplicate it just like that. And I'm going to do the same thing in the back. All right. Um, what, 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 it, what is this thing even going to be called? Oh no. I don't think we're supposed to go over here. All right, uh, I think we deserve to make some more changes to this, but uh, I want to save this as uh, unnamed atrocity so far. And now let's make some more crazy modifications. All right, what if we just extrude this up, move this forward. We're going to make this like a horn by putting these together. Oh yeah, there we go. And then I don't know what these panels even are, but I'm going to move those down, but then extrude this up. And then I'm just going to start merging points. And we're going to see what it gets us to merge some points together. All right, that point's going to merge there. This point is going to merge there. Oh, oh, that's interesting. What happens if I merge this point to that point? Oh, oh, oh boy. All right, and then where is the curve for this piece? Oh, this is interesting. Oh, I just realized that the top of this is plexiglass, I think? Oh no, that's steel, because that was the bottom of our frame. Now the steel is on top. You know what? I'm changing it to plexiglass. All right. Yeah, that's not weird at all. All right, and then I said I wanted some ground clearance. So if I just put a curve up in here, that should give us a little bit more ground clearance, right? Okay, and here's where the back of our vehicle used to be. I think we can probably widen this just a little bit. I'll have it go out over the wheels just like that. Oh, that actually kind of looks cool. I like that. All right. Ooh, nice straight line here. No, we got to we got to not have straight lines on this. There we go. All right. The atrocity is turning into another atrocity. All right. And I got to say, I am pretty happy with it so far. Let's start driving this thing around now. Let's see how it actually looks in context. Oh, man. 
This is some alien stuff right here. It is so heavy now, though. I can hardly even go without the thrust. Oh, there we go. There we go. Do you think we can get up the mountain with this? Let's try it. Oh, no. This is not going to be good. Are you kidding me? Okay. These things are more durable than I thought. All right. Let's see how far we can get going straight up this mountain. Uh oh, this isn't looking good. Nope. No, we need more thrust. More thrust is needed, which should be easy. All right, here we go. Go, 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 go. Is this going to be better? Oh, this is looking much better. So, oh, yes. Oh, yes. We might be able to make it all the way up the mountain with this. This is working. This is actually working. I'm just going to fly right off the other side, aren't I? Oh, can we make this? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I don't, this is too steep, I think. I think this is actually too steep. Oh no. Ah. Uh, oh, here we go. This side we can do. Oh, sl slow down, slow down. Eh. Slow down, please, slow down. I can't, I can't, no. <laughs> no, come on. Oh, my front wheel, my front wheel burst. Okay, hold on. All right, stop. All right, go, go, go. Go, go, go. All right, here we go. This is our path. This is whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this a slalom? I just found a slalom course. I did not know that this, was, that this was here. This is awesome. I wonder if you can actually, like, do stuff in the snow differently than on other terrain, like when it comes to, like, a, a ski or, like, something solid digging in. Oh boy, alright, here we go. Oh, there's no way we're gonna be able to get up that. I should have went that way. Alright, don't be too steep. Don't be too steep. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh, I can't, I can't do it. Alright, we're just going down now. Here's the slull. Well, there goes all my wheels right down the slalom. Let's spawn it right here and see if we can do the slalom. Alright, here we go. And... Oh no, uh oh. Are these solid? Yep, they're solid. <laughs> All right, straight down onto the ice we go. Oh. What? It may have looked like I had control there, but there are no controls on this thing that would help me in the air, I don't think. So I think it naturally turned like that. But, oh, there goes our whole spoiler, and now we can't fly anymore. <laughs> so let's just go one step further, and let's go for height. So let's drag this up. Oh, this is interesting. Let's just drag this singular point in. Make this a curve, make that a curve, make that a curve. Oh man. Oh, oh, I messed up the back wheel so bad. I, I dragged the whole back section up there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make a nice solid section here for the back wheels. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's bring this back down under control. There we go. Uh, you two, come on back down and you know what? Let's just have another one for good measure. And those are lower than the front. So let's go ahead and bring the front ones down. The thrust doesn't make any sense anymore. But you know what? Let's just spawn this thing in now. Oh, this looks like a mothership of some kind. The thrust kind of works. It definitely makes my back end a lot lighter. You can see them try to lift up. But oh my goodness. <laughs> Hold on. I think uh, I think this needs to uh, be skinnier in the middle and widen out at the top, kind of like that. All right, I made a nice flat spot down there for thrusters. So we're just going to go ahead and move all these down so we can get a nice consistent forward thrust. All right, so I've moved my center of mass so high that the thrust now lifts my front wheels off the ground, making me incapable of turning. Okay, so I think uh, we have to take this thing off the ski jump. That's the most reasonable thing to do with something of this scale, I think. All right, so let's see how this goes now. Okay, all right, at least it gets on the jump pretty well. All right, can it survive the curve? Oh no, oh no. 
<laughs> I can't even turn. It's too back heavy. I need to put weight in the front. But don't worry, putting weight in the front is extremely easy. Just gotta slap a couple of these down and we got a whole bunch of weight in the front. All right, now that I have all that weight in the front, that should make turning a little bit easier. And here we go. Holy cow, it actually went off the jump pretty well. Let's see how it lands. Oh, oh, I broke the camera again. <laughs> Look at the wheels rolling away. Um, hold on, I should be able to fix it. There we go. All right, so uh, this thing still needs a name. It's it's definitely some type of futuristic alien, like insectoid type creation. Oh, and it falls apart just like any other creation I make. So let me know what you guys thought of this kind of episode where we just make weird things. Like whatever inspiration hits, just start moving things around and seeing what happens. I think that fits the, uh, the, the theme of this channel pretty well. So if you enjoyed this episode, you're definitely going to enjoy some other main assembly content. You're going to want to check out this playlist right here and scroll through those videos. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrabman and I'll see you next time. Bye.